In this video, we are going to test Roo code with Claude Sonnet 3.7. If you don't know about Claude Sonnet 3.7, this is the most recently released large language model by Anthropic Claude. And this is probably one of the best large language models for writing code. The only catch here is pricing because it costs around $3 per million input tokens and around $15 per million output tokens. We'll be using Claude Sonnet 3.7 through Open Router. Open Router is a platform where you can access all of these different large language models. You can use the API key from the main Anthropic Claude website, but I'll be just using open router. Make sure that you have downloaded and installed VR Studio code on your computer. If you have not, just simply go to Google and look for VS code and then simply just install this software from here. Once you have done that, just open VS code and then you can simply just create an empty project in here. I have created an empty next.js project. You can see my project files in here. Once you have opened your project inside VS code, just go to your extensions tab in here. If you cannot access this tab, simply just click on control plus shift plus X and then you can simply just open this extensions tab. From here, just look for Roo code and then simply click on this option in here. Then you can simply just install Roo code from here. Once you will install, it will show Roo code on your left side in here. And from here, just go to your settings tab and inside settings tab, just choose inside API provider. Just choose open router from here. And then once you have chosen open router from here, now you need an API key for open router. To get an API key from open router, you can simply just go to open router.ai and from here, just log in using your Google account. From here, just go to your keys section. And in here, you can simply just click on create a new key, just give it a name, and then you can just create a new key just like that. I have already created one. You can see my key in here. I'll just copy this key from here. And then you can simply just paste that key inside open router. Once you have done that, you can simply just click on save. And after that, simply just click on this new task button in here and now it's time to create something let's just create a very basic landing page and see how it works create a landing page for my online courses website please create a very detailed landing page with different sections design should be professional and vibrant i'll simply just click on this button which is enhance prompt with additional context I'll simply just press on that and now it will just enhance my prompt. Once I've done that and now you can see my prompt is enhanced and more clear and more precise. I'll simply just click on enter now and now you can see it has just started writing code in here. I'll just make my screen bigger. All right, so now you can see it has just started creating the relevant files and in here you can see our total tokens and total cost. Right now it is asking us to run a command. It just want to create a new directory which is app slash course. I'll simply just run this command to create this new directory and now that directory is created. Now it is going to create a page.tsx file inside that course directory that's awesome i can see there is one problem in here inside problems tab but i think because it is still writing code so that problem should actually go once it will finish writing the code and it is still writing code let's just wait for it further and see if it finished all right, so now it is showing an error. Roo is having a trouble. Okay, so I'll say proceed anyway. So far, the API cost is $0.52. And we still have not finished creating our landing page. It is still carrying on. I'll just wait for it to finish writing code and then we'll review what it has done. All right, so after writing code for some time and after spending like $1.4, this is what we have got. So this is not really impressive, but this is the best that we could get with Roo code. But yeah, I mean, this is okay, not too bad. We gave it instruction for like creating a landing page for our courses website. It has overall created like an inner page for a course. So this is like a course overview. This is like what you will learn section. This is like prerequisites. This is course material. You can download these materials from here. Then there is, this is the progress. And from here, there are like different pages. I think we need to like create these pages uh, separately, which is course introduction, setting up your environment, and then basic principles and advanced tips. But yeah, this is what we have created by spending like $1.47. Not bad, but I think same thing we could achieve in Cursor because Cursor actually allows you to use Claude's 3.7 within the paid subscription plan, which is like $20. So like by paying $20 a month, we can use almost like a lot more than this what we have already spent so you can use cloud student 3.7 with Roo code Roo code itself is amazing in so many ways it is better than klein but using cloud student 3.7 through an api key inside Roo code can be costly so if you want to do like a cost comparison of using cloud student 3.7 in Roo code through an api key or using cursor or windsurf so i think cursor and windsurf will be far cheaper because that way you can actually use cloud student 3.7 a lot more cheaper than using this way i hope you like this video and you understand how Roo code works with Claude 3.7. If you have any questions, you can leave your comments in comment section. I see you next video. Bye-bye.